Hello there and thank you for joining me today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a flip for you. Um, I just received this about a week or so ago. A Foxy Fix A6 compact fitting uh, with a reinforced spine in the Wonderlust leather in butterscotch. Just love all the pebbles. Um, I got brown elastic, cream stitching, and yes, I did get the reinforced spine. And I did get pockets as well. Um, my charms here, um, I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Um, this little footprint came from Jen's Crafty Designs. And then I got my initial. Okay, let's just get started. Um, in this, I did a couple different kits. I am using some things from Two Little Bees and Liz Q Studios and a shop called Plan It Again as well. So I'll just kind of point those out as I go. But up here in the front, I've just got my Two Little Bees. Little flyer there. I've got my In Case of Emergency card and some little die cuts that I laminated. In this first insert, the paper was from Plan It Again, and then the bow and the monthly die cut are from Liz Q Studios. Open it up, got Sparky Paper Co., got the acetate from Michaels, my initial from Michaels. Um, that is from Pigtails and Pockets. Cute little rose gold clip. Um, all my inserts in this one are from Annie Plans. Here is the academic calendar, and this came from Two Little Bees as well. But again, I just put um, in my monthlies, I put birthdays, anniversaries, bill dues, paydays, holidays, and the school schedule. So I've kind of got that for the rest of the year. Um, I have yearly goals here, and then this is my academic calendar that shows when my husband's off and the school kids' school schedule. Um, and on the back of the acetate, I got a Target dollar spot with a Kina Prince die cut. Um, this came from a blog. I think it was Plan with Shay, but I'll have to double check with that. I'll put the link below if I can find that. Um, okay. This is some paper from the, an older Planner Society kit that I thought kind of went with us. Um, or the patterns kind of went together. Again, that was from Liz Q Studios. This is Liz Q Studios vellum. And then here is the September Any Plans. Um, I use the week on one page with Daily Grid. I got my same things for the month. And then this was where I put all my timed tasks um, on my weekly and then on my daily. That's where I kind of do like a running to-do. Um, this kit um, was an older kit that I had had for a while. It was from Lisa V Creations. Um, I'm in Kansas and this weekend the Sunflower Farm is open and in bloom. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna do sunflowers. So anyway, that's how I do my dailies, and then I kind of fill in each day with to-dos. Um, got my Coletto in an Kelly Ava design clip. Oh, and my Today bookmark. Um, this was from my Paper Love Studio. I just kind of put another two little bees die cut in there. And the back of that insert, I do all my monthly goals. Um, I still have my little sticker folder in here. This is from Shell Scribbles. Um, it just puts all my little teeny cute little stickers from all my shops that I like, that I hoard. <laughs> um, the third insert, and this was paper from Plan It Again. That was from Plan It Again. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was from Liz Q Studios. Got my meal insert, now the boys are back in school, I need to get this going underway. Um, fourth insert is just my brain dump, it's where I just jot down all of my notes. 
birthday ideas. And then the last insert, um, this was paper lips, uh, paper society paper. Um, that was pulling it again. I got my list book where I just do the running format like a bullet journal. And each page is a list. And then the last one is my shop um, in codes. Got that in there. Well, that's a really neat one where you put all your codes down. That. And then I got the little fox and pet planner girl. Got some more stickers in the back. Can't remember where I got that pen. Um, but yeah, I just, I am loving the A6. Um, and I love, this is by far my favorite, my favorite leather. I think what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to purchase this exact notebook in a wider fitting. Um, it's totally personal preference, but the pen won't stick out if I get um, the bigger fitting, I think. I was trying to show you there. I mean, everything fits in there, but I think I just may do that, and it might be more of a slimmer fit. I don't like a chunky planner, but I think that way, I think that would be neat. But I just love this leather. If you guys have any questions, um, certainly leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hello, and thank you for watching. Um, today, I'm going to do a flip on my new Foxy Fix rings that I got in the mail about a week ago. Um, this is the personal size ring planner from Foxy Fix in the sugar leather in the sugar cookie color. Just love it. So pretty. And what I have done with this setup is I am actually using personal wide inserts from any plans. So I'll show you here. Um, but I've just got a rose gold Ollie clip on the front. And here we go. Um, so as you can see, that's the um, personal wide size. Um, in the front here, th this whole planner has got any plans printables and then an older planner society kit. Um, with a little bit of two little bees thrown in. Um, so I've just got some paper there. I've got the two little bees fall large die cut. Um, and I got some stickers from the Planner Society kit. And of course, always have to have Keith. Um, okay, um, one thing I love about this planner is the 30 millimeter rings, they're Krauss rings, um, they're wonderful, so you really can put a lot in there. Um, I have done the personal wide Foxy Fix vellum dividers, um, and then I have added um, the Planning Made Perfect divider labels on the top of each one. So this first section is my notes section, oh, and then I also have the Planner Kate um, labels on the side. So this first section is my notes section. And this is the personal size ring inserts from Foxy Fix. So you can kind of see the difference between the personal size versus the personal wide size. So a picture of my family and my boys. Um, okay, so yeah, in the notes section, I just have notes and thoughts that are just flying around in my brain. Put them down there. The next section is my monthly section. And have another little, this is the secretarial insert. Just got some more pictures. And then I put all my cute little stickers in here. Um, this is the Any Plans Academic Calendar. I've got um, cute little pigtails and pockets clip. Um, and I have just clipped it, the bullfrog clip here, to September. Um, this was an older bookmark from Webster's Pages, but in my monthlies I do uh, birthdays, holidays, bill dues, paydays, the school schedule, 
on my monthly. So I've kind of got the rest of the year done. And I just clipped it again with another bullfrog clip. And I got some goals for the year. And then this was a piece of vellum that came with the Planner Society kit and I just put um, my initial from Michael's sticker. And <clears throat> this is the monthly tracker that Annie doesn't have quite yet in a wide. Hopefully she'll come out in a wide size, but it's just the personal size. And I've just got it clipped here to, oh, I gotta flip this over. Um, this is August, but this is the insert that then does um, every year, or every month, I'm sorry. And again, I use a Kelly Ava Designs clip there to hold my Coletto. I'll have to fix up September. Here's just a quick um, view of the yearly. And I have a pullout from So Much Crafting that has um, my boy's school calendar, early release, and my husband's work schedule. Okay, then I go into the weekly section, and I am using, oh, I've got another fun little, some things from Fox and Pip. Um, this was from Haley's Handmade, and this is from, um, oh shoot, uh, Sh I think it's Shine Sticker Co. Um, I will link those as below as well. Um, in this, I am using the personal wide week on one page with Daily Grid. So here is September monthly tracker. What I may do is not even use it in this and go back and use it in the yearly tracker. Um, but these pages are a lot bigger than the A6, so I was still doing my weekly. Um, time tasks here. Here's my um, weekly book, or weekly bookmark from my paper lift studio, and I just started to put a couple things in here. Um, this was a sticker kit from Planner Kate a while ago. I'm gonna see how I like this. Um, there's a lot of room, and some days I may not have a lot of things to write down. So we'll see how this goes. And then I've just clipped it for the rest of September because in the back of this insert, I always write my monthly goals. Then I go into my meals. And again, I haven't filled this out yet. Oh, but I've got Sparkly, sparkly Paper Co. Calendar, Grumpy Bear, Kina Prints, Fox and Pip, little die cuts. And this is the top loading insert from Foxy Fix. Here's the meals, the meal planner. I gotta start doing this. I think I said that last month. <laughs> um, the next section is my home section. And in this section, oh, I got some more cute little die cuts. Yeah, Shine Sticker Co. and Haley's Handmade Stickers, I believe is what that's called. Um, in the home section, this is where I've just uh, tipped it with um, a little 3M uh, tab with a planner Kate sticker and I just like write, I have like my zone cleaning in there and then I have all of my son's school schedule, passwords, health information for all of us, etc. And then I go into my list section and this book is not filled out but it's the um, any plans list for format. I gotta reprint it, it didn't print right. So I haven't filled it out yet but that's what that section will be. And then the last section is my finance section. And in this, I start, oh, she's so cute. I started with the shop code, um, code insert for Manny. And that one I like, cause it's just, you write all the codes and discounts down. And then I won't show you these, but these are from So Much Crafting. I have my online purchases, my savings tracker, and my debt repayment plan. I have those there. And then I just laminated another sheet of vellum from the Planner Society kit with the page lifter. Oh, I want to say that's from, it's a blog, Planet with Shay. I've got to find that. And I'll link that below. And then I've got some more little stickers here. So, 
That is the personal wide. Um, it will snap. Just to show you guys, it is a little tight with tabs if you like to do your tabs um, on the side. I know some people were trying to avoid that, so they then just did the tabs at the top. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a neat planner. I really get a lot in it, and I still have plenty of room to add more if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, it is a floppy leather, but I don't know. It's not, know, not too floppy for me. So anyhow, if you have any questions, just certainly list them below. But um, we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.